Hello everyone, how are you? I am Akrash, your teacher here and I will teach you different questions and their answers. So I welcome you on classtheta.com. So our today's question is Significant digits in a math class 2.5 is the same as 2.50 or 2.5000000 because all numbers are exact in a science lab you work in with measured quantities that contain some error if you read a digital scale and it says 5.214 g it does not mean that the mass is ex exactly 5.214 g that is just the best the scale can measure if the object were in instead 5.2141 g what would the scale read if the object were instead 5.2139 g what would the scale read can you justify writing the mass as 5.2140 g do you know the last digit is a zero if we know a digit in a measurement we call it significant it has meaning how many significant digits does the measurement have now say we put something else on the scale and it reads 1.680 g if the object were instead 1.679 g what would the scale read can you justify writing the mass of 1.680 g you may be tempted to write the mass as 1.68 g and not 1.680 g do not fall into this trap writing 1.68 g means this is between 1.67 and 1.69 g writing 1.680 g means it is between 1.679 and 1.681 g how many significant digits does this measurement have lastly we need to distinguish between significant zeros from placeholders we put another item on the scale and it reads 0.036 g it may looks like that has three or even four significant digit however convert the measurement to mg 1 g to 1000 mg how many significant digits does this measurement have leading zeros do not counts as significant measurement error every measurement contains some error so we must include the error using is equal to plus or minus for example 1.680 is equal to 0.001 g the smallest quantity the device can measure is called its accuracy note accuracy always has unit 0.001 g plus 0.001 mg let's try an example take a piece of paper and a ruler what is the width of the paper how many significant digit is that what is the accuracy of the ruler so the width is centimeter and the height is absolute error when you perform calculation with inexact measurements the result are also inexact the more error in the measurements the more error in the result there are two ways to measure the amount of error the first is the absolute error in our previous example the absolute error was 0.001 g absolute error always has units the form of error is good when comparing two similar measurements take a hundred g mass and place it on a balanced scale what is the mass g now place it on the digit l scale what is the mass which measurement is more accurate centimeter cmg plus centimeter percent error when performing different measurements the absolute error is not useful for comparison take a paper and measurement the width the error in the mass measurement is in g and the error in the width measurement is in centimeter there's no way to compare a g to centimeter so how do we tell which measurement is better we calculate the percent error also known as the precision the percent error is equal to error value multiplied by 100 percent from our previous example we had m is at 1.680 is equal to 0 0.001 g the percent error would be 0 0.001 over 1.680 multiplied by 
hundred percent is equal to point zero six percent. Calculate the percent error in the hundred G mass from the digital scale. Calculate the percent error in the paper weight percent which measurement is more precise and the answer of the question is if the object for instance 5.2141 g the scale would read 5214 g if the object were instead 5.2139 g the scale would read 5.2140 g the mass can be justified as 5.2140 because the zero at the end indicates that the measurement was made to the nearest tenth of milligram making significant this measurement has five significant digits if the object were instead 1.6 at 1 g the scale would read 1.6 at 1 g if the object were instead 1.67 g the scale would read 1.67 g the mass can be justified as 1.6 at 0 g because the zero at the end indicates at the measurement was met to the nearest thousand of gram making it significant this measurement has four significant digits when converted to milligrams 0.036 g is equal to 36 mg this measurement has two significant digits the accuracy of rulers used to measure the width of the paper is 0.1 centimeter the width of the paper is centimeter and the height is centimeter absolute error for the 100 g mass measured on the balance scale is 0.1 g and for the digital scale is, is 0.001 g the measurement from the digital scale is more accurate the percent error in the 100 g mass measured on the digital scale is calculated as follows percent text error is equal to fraction 0.001 comma text into g into 100 comma text into g time 100 percent equal to 0 0.001 percent the percent error in measuring the width of the paper is calculated using the given values the measurement width a smaller percent error is some precise thank you for watching the video if you have any question related to this video please post a comment below if you have any question in your mind you can also post on the website and i will be answering you in the next video Thank you for engaging with us. Until next video, bye bye.